Have you ever seen that men discussing meme? Well, there's one related to watches that I think is really good. That's it right there. And you know, it's funny because it's true. Now listen, I'm passionate about watches, as you know, but I really hate the snobbery, elitism, pretentiousness, arrogance, condescension, self-importance, sense of superiority, smugness, and contempt for those less knowledgeable or not in the club that devotees of the watch world can sometimes engender. That gets a big fat eye roll emoji from me. Fatter, that's good. Watches should be fun. They should reflect your personality. They should be something that you love. That's why you should buy a watch, not because you want to fit in with all the cool rich kids. I mean, what is this, middle school? So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at a new release just debuted at Watches and Wonders from a brand that I personally love that really leans hard into that sense of joy, personality, and individuality that watch collecting should be all about. We'll take a close look at the watches and I'll show you how I style them right after this. I'm Brian Sakawa, this is He Spoke Style, and you know what happens when you dress well and start to care about your appearance? You feel good about yourself. You feel more confident. It's life-changing. And this channel is all about helping you look and feel your best so you can make changes to live the life that you want. All right, watches. So as much as I tried to conceal which watches and which brand I was gonna be talking about in the video, obviously the B-roll gave it away. So you know that we are going to be talking about Nomos Glashuta and the new Tangente 38 date, 175 years of watchmaking Glashuta in 31 colors, which they just debuted at Watches and Wonders in Geneva. This video is sponsored by Nomos. They've been a partner of the channel for a while and I'm always happy to work with them because I think they make phenomenal watches that are an incredible value. So there are a lot of reasons to love the new Tangente 38 date. It's an iconic Nomos design. 38 millimeters is pretty much a perfect case size in my opinion. Uh, you've got the in-house manual winding DUW4101 movement and the price, $2,310 very accessible. What makes this version of the Tangente 38 special and unique and fun is that it is available in 31 different color combinations, as I mentioned, meant to appeal to all different kinds of personalities. You know, even the experience of browsing all the options online on the website is fun. I mean, check that out. I can play with that all day. And you can too by going to the description where I've got a link to the site. Let's talk specs. Like I said, 38 millimeter stainless steel case. Actually, it is 37.5 millimeters if we're being precise. This is a German brand after all. It's 6.8 millimeters thick with a lug to lug measurement of 47.7 millimeters. All that is to say that this watch looks and feels great on the wrist. On the dial, we've got that classic slender tangente typography. The hands are rhodium plated sub-second style right above six o'clock, and the large date window right at six o'clock. Now, there is no crown position to advance the date, but if you go past 12 to change the date, then all you have to do is go backwards until the hour hand hits nine and then go back to 12. That's a little hack to change the date a little quicker. The case back is sapphire crystal glass, revealing that beautiful in-house movement. At the bottom, you can see the name of the watch and that it is a limited edition of 175. Each of the 31 versions of this watch is limited to 175 pieces. The number is an homage to the rich watchmaking history in Glashütte, which was founded over 175 years ago. We've got a light gray woven strap, keeping it sporty. And if you want to know, the lug width is 19 millimeters. As mentioned, there are 31 versions or color combinations, something for every kind of style and personality. For me, uh, because I consider my style to be classic with a modern sensibility, I've chosen these three versions to style in this video. The Haifisch Grau, the Schneesturm, please don't hold back making fun of my German, and the Pop Orange, I know I got one of those right, unless it's pronounced Popo range. Actually, to see how I did, here's my German friend Vimal. Hi, Fischgrau. Schneesturm. Pop orange. Uh, well, so, over for 3. Anyway. Yes, Vimal? Hey, Brian. One more thing. Popo in German is a nice word for butt. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> 
So those are the three watches I've got here. Now let's take a look at how I would style them. Starting off with a mostly monochromatic business casual look, dark denim button down shirt, navy blue cotton trousers, don't freak out, not wearing a belt was a conscious decision. Suede Koyo Capris in a color called Moonlight and gray dial Nomos Tangente date providing some contrast. This is a good standalone kind of business casual look, but if you did want to dress it up a bit, I would reach for a light gray Hopsack sport coat. Really nice texture, more of a casual feel, patch pockets make it more relaxed as well. And the color ties into both the sneakers and the watch quite nicely. Up next, we've got something similar, but a little more relaxed. Up top is a gray cotton jersey button-up shirt, paired with the same navy blue cotton trousers from look number one. Same suede sneakers as well. And for this look, I'm going with the white and blue dial Tangente 38 date. You know, having spent some time with these watches now, I really think that it is a great watch for someone who has a sportier business casual style or a style that leans a bit more towards the casual side in general. And be sure to stay tuned until outfit five to see what that looks like on me. All right, now before we get to outfit number three, I do want to put out a warning or trigger alert. If you are offended by outfits that show ankle, in other words, the sockless look, and I use scare quotes because I'm wearing no-show socks, please, pretty please, go to the bottom of this video frame, hover over the timeline, and skip to the chapter labeled Outfit 5. If you leave any comment about this outfit or outfit number four related to socks or lack of socks, you will get a big fat eye roll emoji. So now that that's out there in the open, on with the show. Okay, so this is pretty much what I would call my summer uniform. Simple, chic, and elevated. Up top, the shirt is by Todd Snyder, part of the New Spring Summer Collection. It's light and breathable, and I really like the looser fit. I've combined that with a pair, I meant to say, I paired that with a pair of black linen trousers, really my favorite pair of warm weather trousers over the past couple of years, JMM sunglasses, ostrich Belgians, and the orange dial Tangente 38 date to complete the look. I've been loving the simplicity of black and white clothing for a while now. It's a simple foundation that you really can do a lot with and it makes it really easy to throw in a fun, unique burst of color like we've got with the watch. Well, here's a spring and summer suit if I've ever seen one. This is a terracotta hop sack. Check out that fabric. I mean, look how cool that is. The texture, the white flex. I'm gonna call this the suit of the summer. Lots of ways to style it, obviously. Here, keeping it casual with a cream t-shirt suede sneakers, sunglasses, and gray dial Tangente. You know, at first I didn't think I'd be able to style these watches with a suit without changing the strap, but uh, I wanted to challenge myself and I think the more casually cool outfit styling here, the color of the suit paired with this particular watch works. You can let me know if you disagree. Maybe a little bit of a shock for you, but uh, this is what I wear on the weekends. I bought this uh, North Face fleece for a ski trip back in March, but I love it so much I find myself wearing it on most chillier mornings when I head out to the gym before the sun comes up. And I wear sweatpants too. <gasps> but for this look, I've got it paired with a cream t-shirt. It's by Buck Mason. Nicest t-shirt I've ever worn. Light blue jeans are classic Levi's 501s. I did mention I've been enjoying a little bit of a looser fit. Navy baseball cap, cream socks, suede sneakers, really getting a workout in this video, and the blue and white dial Tangente 38 date. Simple, casual, weekend, great watch, don't really need to do more than that. So that felt good. Outfit video, watches, isn't that what you guys love the most? Big fat thank you to Nomos for sponsoring this video and continuing to be such a great partner for us here at the channel. The new Tangente 38 date, 31 color combinations, amazing price, great watch. You need to check it out and you can do that with the link in the description. So thank you for watching. Good to be back and stay tailored.